A gardener has a rectangular garden that measures 5 feet by 7 feet. She wants to put a uniform border of gravel around each side of her garden. If x represents the width of the border in feet, what polynomial represents the total area of the garden and the border? Okay, so we have a little diagram down here. The smaller rectangle on the inside, we're going to let that be the garden. So we'll color it green to represent the garden. So this is the 5 feet by 7 feet garden right here. So we'll say this side is 5 feet and that side is 7 feet. Now around that garden is going to be some gravel. So like rocks or something where people could walk around the garden. Now that pathway or that border is a uniform width. So what that means is the distance all the way around, or the width all the way around that garden is the same. So for instance, the distance from the edge of the garden to the end of the border is going to be x feet. Same up here. If you go from the edge of the garden all the way up to the edge of the border, that would be x feet. Same over here. And same on the bottom. So all of those widths all the way around are x feet. So we can figure out the area of the garden. That's 5 by 7. That's 35. We get that. But we want to know the total area that includes the garden and the border. Maybe she wants to know how much space all of this is going to take up in her backyard. So we need to find the length of the larger rectangle and the width of the larger rectangle. And the reason why we need the length and the width is because in general the formula for area is your length times your width. Okay, so we know that in general we have length times width, so to find the area of the larger rectangle we need the length and the width of the larger rectangle. So what we need are some new dimensions. First of all, we need to know this dimension. Now, I already know part of it. If I carry this over and this over, from there to there, that is 7 feet. So from here to here, we have 7 feet. Now, what I also need to know is this distance here and this distance here. Well, those are each x units long because it's x units from the top of the garden to the top of the border and it's x units from the bottom of the garden to the bottom of the border. So this total distance is x plus 7 plus x which we can also call 2x plus 7. Alright, let's look over here now. We also need this dimension. Well, we know that from here to here is 5 because that was the width of the garden so from here to here is 5 and then if I carry this down that's another x feet and if I carry this down here that's another x feet so the bottom of this garden is x plus 5 plus x which you could also call 2x plus 5. So that is the new length and the new width of the overall rectangle which includes the garden and the border. So just to make clear this x right here is where that x came from and this x right here is where that x came from and the 5 was that 5 up there. Okay so now I want to find the area or a polynomial I should say polynomial for the area of the whole entire rectangle. So we know that area is length times width. So we said the length was 2x plus 7 and the width was 2x plus 5. So let's do a little simplifying here and do some FOIL. That's going to give me 4x squared plus a 10x plus a 14x and plus a 35. So let's clean that up a little bit because we have some like terms here in the middle. 
So 4x squared plus 24x plus 35. So this would be a polynomial equation that represents the area of the whole entire garden plus the border. Now you could also write it in function form. We could just say the area as a function of x is 4x squared plus 24x plus 35. And notice that 35 at the end, that's the inside, which is the garden. And then the 4x squared plus the 24x represents the border that goes around it. Now, as you continue through this section in the book, you're going to see some problems similar to this, um, but they might ask you to take it a little bit further and then find out, okay, what is the area of just the border? If you were to subtract out the area of the garden, meaning how much gravel does she actually need, things like that. But at least this little video will give you a little bit of an introduction on how to create these polynomial functions on your own.